Can you tell I've got severe heat damage? Where? Probably not. Because I think I might have found the best solution to dealing with my heat damage. Firstly, I'm going to start with the bentonite clay, the main ingredient. Then you're going to want to mix it with apple cider vinegar, preferably organic. And then this part's optional, I'm using rosemary oil. Okay, so these are the three ingredients I'm going to be using for my hair mask. So you're going to need a wooden spoon because metal spoons cause a reaction with the mixture. Then I'm going to be using this scoop and I'm going to be taking out a certain amount. Now the amount that you scoop into the bowl depends on the length and thickness of your hair. And that's what we got so far but I think I will be needing a little bit more. Then I'm going to put about two to three scoopfuls as it were of the apple cider vinegar. And again guys apple cider vinegar can be pretty strong smelling so if you are opposed to it I wouldn't suggest to use so much or you can kind of mask it with the rosemary oil as I did. And then you're just going to want to mix until it's slightly crumbly but you want it to be into a paste so that means I'm either going to have to put some more water in there or I'm going to have to put some more apple cider vinegar. And as you can see I'm just adding my rosemary oil. And rosemary oil is excellent for hair thinning and hair loss. So as you can see, I'm just adding a slightly little bit more water just to make sure the mixture turns into a paste. And that's what we have so far. So a clay looking paste. So this is my paste and I'm about to apply it to my hair. We're going to see if this is a myth or fact whether this clay mask can get rid of heat damage. Okay, so I'm just showing you the line of demarcation. Guys, you don't have to apply it like this. This is just my application. You may be better off applying with hair dye bowl and brush. But I'm just gonna apply this as you would do with a suppose hair dye or dare I say it, relaxer. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna do it in sections and I'm doing it from my roots. So even though I'm trying to eliminate the heat damage, this is an amazing mask to remove all hair toxins. Now, considering I've had my hair in a protective style for a good while, so I wear my protective styles on average two months at a time, then I wash my hair. Keeping in mind, I've got product buildup, especially hair grease. This is excellent for removing hair grease, guys, because it literally removes all the buildup, residue, and toxins from your hair. So I'm just going to make sure the entirety of my hair is covered to ensure that my hair is getting all the product. So it's pretty straightforward guys, as I said, you just apply it. And once it's fully applied, what you're gonna want to do is wait for about half an hour to an hour or until the product actually starts to harden. And it's not gonna harden like concrete, but it will be stiff, let's say, on your hair. And that's when you then want to wash it out. Go and put it on dry hair. I find putting on dry hair is the best because that's when it can penetrate into the strand. The apple cider vinegar actually helps lift the hair cuticles so the clay mask can actually penetrate the strands. So there you go, it's looking a bit like Sahara Desert. And now I'm going to use my Tresemme collection, so the shampoo and conditioner and it's got moisture in there so there you go my hair is washed out what do you think of the difference guys now let me just say my hair seems to have a bit more bounce to it and that might be due to the fact that it's not weighed down by hair grease so i'm not sure if it's a myth right now or if it's actually fact if it actually done something but what i do know it done what i do know it done <laughs> what it did do is actually get rid of the hair grease and put elasticity back into my hair so now i'm just thoroughly cleansing my hair to make sure that obviously the product buildup that i had in my hair originally is gone as well as the clay and guys just to let you know the clay was so easy to wash out so yeah i still got my heat damaged parts there so what i'm gonna have to say with this ultimately it is a myth it doesn't actually get rid of heat damage and the reason being is that the only way to get rid of heat damage is to either transition but initially to snip. Not necessarily big chop, if you don't want to you can transition but the best way to get rid of heat damage is just to cut it off. Cut it out. 
But what I must say about this, which is fact, not myth, it improved the elasticity of my hair, imparted minerals into my strands, and my hair feels so much better, cleaner, lighter, and soft, might I add. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like with the conditioner in my hair. Nice amount of curls, not too much frizz. I thought I'd have a bit more frizz than that. So as you can see, the ends of my hair there, there's some parts of heat damage when my curls are looser. But overall, I, I think the condition is pretty good. Apart from those parts in the front, you know, but what can you do? There, so visibly you can see I've got a bit more curls. In the beginning I showed you I had a lot of heat damage, I still do, but what we've managed to do is improve the heat damage. And as you can see, I have this part which is heat damaged. There's the line of demarcation, but before doing this clay mask with the apple cider vinegar, it was more prevalent, let's put it that way. You can see in certain areas here, that I've still got quite a bit of heat damage. I mean, heat damage has to either be transitioned or eliminated, i.e. snip snip. However, in the meantime, to strengthen my hair and put in the moisture, no, to strengthen my hair and get rid of any buildup and detox my hair, the clay mask is the best way to go. Now I'm gonna quickly tell you my thoughts on the clay mask and why I think it's a good solution. So ultimately the first pro I'd go with from using this bentonite clay mask with the apple cider vinegar mix and a hint of rosemary oil, the first pro is what I was hoping for, reduce the appearance of my heat damage. As you can see, my hair has elasticity. It brings back elasticity to your hair. Now my hair has shrunken up. I have no product in my hair whatsoever due to the elasticity. I've got a lot of shrinkage as you can see, which I am not mad about at all. So that's number one. Number two, it contains minerals that our hair needs, such as sodium, potassium, and calcium. Just like our body, our hair needs the minerals for it to, for it to grow, for it to survive and be healthy, thick and strong. So that put all the minerals back into my hair that it needed for now. I didn't have to use any heat because the clay, the bentonite clay and the apple cider vinegar lifts the scales already. So therefore, all the minerals are now allowed to enter as well as the conditioner that I put on my hair and what have you. So that's why my hair is looking so full and bouncy and soft might I add and it doesn't feel dry it is dry in the sense that it's dried from the moisture but it's not dry and crispy it's soft pro number three funny enough it washes out very easily I mean what you saw with it plastered on my head and then my hair looked stiff it looked like it was going to be a hassle to wash out not at all it's not sticky it doesn't just sit on your head and then you have to kind of like ply it out as soon as the water touches it it just crumbles off so that was quite a surprising pro for me it washes out very easily let's move on to the next one i read that this can be done weekly but personally for me once a month is sufficient again with the price as i showed you the tub is quite a big tub i paid 8.99 for it and i've had this tub it feels like forever it's not something that i'm going to be using every week as i said it's monthly and it lasts a little bonus pro you can use it as a face mask that's actually what it's sold for another pro it doesn't take long to make at all as i said you literally just scoop it in there's no boiling there's no sieving there's no nothing that's what you want because the process of applying it and sitting with it on your hair for over an hour is long enough as it is already you don't want to have additional time having to make it and overnight and letting it sit and all of that jazz okay and lastly it was easy to detangle my hair if you saw i was able to finger detangle it i put my thumb through and i kind of ease it apart as i said my hair is dry now i do have to go and spritz it and put some hair grease in it yes i've got some frizz but i've got some shape and definition i think i've got the frizz because of raking it through and not clumping it together but i'm not leaving my hair like this so it doesn't matter <laughs> okay so with that being said as good as it is there are some cons and the cons are it is very messy i'm not going to lie to you guys it is very messy you have to be prepared for this just landed all over the floor, my shower curtains. But with that being said, as messy as it was splashing everywhere, I think that was just down to my application process. You can use alternatives other than your hand. For instance, if you're going to dye your hair and you have that bowl with the brush, you know what I mean. I think that would be a very good way to do it. But with it being messy, it's also very easy to clean up. As I did mention in the pros, it's easy to wash out, therefore it is easy to clean up. Right, so the main ingredient, well one of the main ingredients, the apple cider vinegar, pretty much stunk out the whole home. I'm not opposed to apple cider vinegar, but I'm not necessarily a fan of it. It is strong, if you know, you know. If you're not a fan of the smell, then this might not be one for you. 
my third con and last con that I can think of the top of my head it's a pretty lengthy process I must say from start to finish reason being is because you leave it on for an hour what I did well over an hour you do have to set aside time to do this and when I say a time I mean a day so I started in the morning I finished at the time I did which I showed you it was roughly around a couple of hours and I was doing things in between but as I said you've got an hour wait and it's I suppose if you're used to having your hair deep conditioned and you're sitting there with a deep conditioner then fair enough I suppose it's pretty much a similar process if you're used to that but was it worth the time was it worth the length absolutely the main thing is I've got shrinkage see that got a bit of spring to it look at that my springs are sprung so I'm happy <laughs> right so with that being said if you want to see how I get this into a very nice moisturized hair grease sealed style you're gonna to need to click over here now <laughs> 